right, this video is going to be about how to put any game, for the most part, this is for multi-discs, discs that are, or games that are two discs. Right now, for example, I'm going to be using Watch Dogs. Um, this is for modded Xboxes, of course, RGH or JTAG. These are the three programs, well, two programs and the ISOs that you're going to need. The first step you'd want to do was assuming that you have the ISOs downloaded. I already did this, so I there's my ending result of what's going to appear when everything's done once you follow the steps. So basically, you're going to want to open up Backup Creator, Run, Image Tools, Image Browser, File, Open Image File. You're going to want to go to Disk 2 first. You do Disk 2 first. All right, everything's good. This first first section right here, Complex Watchdogs 2 ISO. You're going to want to right click, extract. What I did here was made a whole new Watchdogs folder inside the original Watchdogs and I named it Watchdogs JTAG. Reason being that's what I know I need to drag onto my USB if I wanted to put it on the JTAG or Xbox 360 neighborhood. But we'll get to that later on in the video. I already did it, so I'm going to cancel. After you do that, it'll take about 10 minutes. Then you're going to want to come back to Image Browser. You're going to want to open up the same steps, but this time open up one. Now, this is where you got to switch it up a little bit. You don't take the whole file. You're going to want to take Installation 1, Extract, right in the same folder, right in the Watchdogs folder, the Watchdogs JTAG. You're going to let that do that, probably 10 minutes. Then after that, you come back, do it again for installation two. Same exact steps, extract, extract right into Watchdogs, not into the Watchdogs folder right here, but into the own watch, the new Watchdogs JTAG folder that you made. I'm going to cancel it because I already did so. Now, you're all set. Now at this point, you're going to want to come to here. See, this is the original ISOs in the Watchdogs folder. Now you go to the JTAG. Now you're like, okay, what do I do next? You're going to want to open up Installation 1. Now you see all this other extra stuff. This is not supposed to be here. This is, this is the reason why it will only load up until your disk is unreadable, if you ever get that message. Because you need to cut this. Well, you really need to copy it and then place it in here to the root, to the root of the folder. Now you can delete that since there's nothing left. Do the same exact thing for installation two. Well, you can just scroll and then copy, paste it right here. All right, it's gonna take a little time. I haven't did this step yet, as you can see. Give it a little time. Two minutes and 15 seconds. It should be a little quicker than that, if I presume. While we're waiting, <clears throat> this goes. This is the same exact steps that you can do for any two disc game. Let's say, Advanced Warfare. Um, any any two disc game. This is the same exact step you go through same exact steps got my IP addresses right here in case you gotta boot somebody you know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> modded games for JTAG I don't even know oh, Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe that was a one one disc game um, anyways, we'll let that copy, and I'm just going to continue with, with the steps that what's going on here. Once that's all done, you're going to want to delete installation 2, because it's all been transferred to the root of the folder. Correct? So, once you do that, there's two ways, well, there might be three, to transfer this onto your Xbox. You can either put it on a USB, and put it into your Xbox and transfer it, I wouldn't do that because then it's going to take an hour or maybe not an hour but like 20 minutes to transfer on the flash drive then you plug it in your Xbox and then another 20 minutes to put it on the hard drive so what I would just go with 
is running just Xbox 360 neighborhood, JTAG, find whatever you want to put it on. Say you have a hard drive or a USB that's already connected to your Xbox. But I, I, I just run everything through the hard drive. So I'd run it hard drive. <clears throat> See how I already got the games here? Crisis 3, Far Cry 4, blah, blah, blah. Now you'd want to, as soon as that's finished downloading, or not downloading, excuse me, as soon as that shit's finished copying, you'd want to drag the Watchdogs JTAG folder right in there, and you could run the game straight from there. Everything should be fine. Auto disk swap on Freestyle Dash 3, everything will be fine. It won't ask you to insert disk or whatever, how, whatever it's going to ask you, disk swap. So, when that's done transferring, I'm going to show you what you have to delete one, one more time so you, that you don't mess it up. Then comment on the video and say, oh, the tutorial didn't work or some, some crazy stuff. So look, installation 2, delete, boom, going to delete that, now boom, we're good. So I'm going to run it back here, there's Watch Dogs JTAG, I'm going to drag it right in here to my Xbox. Now this is this is gonna take a little while, but when it's done, you'll realize that it's gonna work and it's way easier than transferring it to your USB and then retransferring it again to your Xbox. It 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 usually doesn't take an hour, it'll probably take like thirty minutes. But <clears throat> usually I transfer all the games at once. So say I tra I make three or four games and have them all ready for my JTAG or RGH and then I'll just swap them all at the same time so it'll probably be a total of like an hour hour and 20 minutes for all four games but at the end of the day it's easier because you can transfer all the games just make sure that Xbox is on while you're transferring it's not going to connect to the JTAG or RGH but that concludes this video make sure you guys like subscribe hit me up with any comments if you need help with this I'll be sure to respond